FBI and its British counterpart say they've taken down one of the biggest and the most notorious cybercrime gangs on the web. Yeah, it's a big one. CBS's Scott McFarlane reports how members of the the Lockbit gang were finally caught after years of ransomware attacks on companies and organizations around the world. Today, the Lockbit website said it was under law enforcement control. The feds have broken up arguably one of the world's most prolific ransomware rings, which began menacing and hijacking U.S. company computer systems in January 2020, with more than 2,000 victims and demanding hundreds of millions of dollars in ransom, more than 120 million of which was actually paid. Two Russian nationals are accused of being part of a ring that targeted corporate giants like Boeing, major healthcare systems, even the Washington, D.C. Police Department. There's always the concern about the whack-a-mole. Where does it pop up again? But certainly global uh, law enforcement agencies coming together to disrupt is a positive step in cybersecurity. Ransomware attackers use malicious software to seize control of computer networks of organizations and then demand ransom payments. We fell prey to something that everybody's vulnerable to. Major Warner is superintendent of schools in Fauquier County, Virginia, which took down its network and fought off an attack by Lockbit and its ransom demands in September. You say it was a minor miracle. You got everything up and running again. They threaten you with a bunch of stuff and they threaten you with these timelines. So you have to spend time very quickly trying to figure out, are they bluffing? Ransomware is a business model. And so the malicious actors are looking to earn money. And so we've seen cases where they've asked for money. The victim has come back and said, I can't afford that, but I can pay you this amount less. And they've taken it. Among the items seized is a decryption key, which could help some of the current victims unlock their servers and their private information. Scott McFarland, CBS News, Washington.